Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Nigel Gardner and I want to talk about warm-up exercises for the guitar today. So I've heard other YouTubers talk about their criteria for warm-up exercises, which I found pretty useful. I mean, thinking about them as in terms of what do you really get from them? How efficient are they? I mean, ideally, right, you just want a warm-up exercise to take three minutes and it takes you from not being warmed up at all to being completely ready to play anything. So this first exercise is the harmonized scale of chords in G. If you, if you take a major scale and you just add thirds and fifths on top, you'll end up with, with that. Let's do some string skipping for this first exercise. Alright, so of course set yourself up with a metronome speed that you feel really comfortable with. There's no point trying to run before you can walk. Just find something that is comfortable. Once you've played it to yourself well, of course then speed up 3 BPM, maybe 4. If that works, try another 3 BPM, maybe 4. You're probably not going to get much past sort of two notches up from where you began on the first day. You know, this takes a little while, but it can end up being pretty fast. <laughs> And of course, another option, maybe you could try doing maybe like two notes for every, like two picks for every note. Um, all right, onwards to the next exercise. Okay, so I talked earlier about criteria for a warm-up exercise. So if it's not going to kind of put you through a sort of a mental gymnastics of, of the harmonized scale of chords, which is pretty useful for that then I need something that's just fun, really. So I find this one quite fun and quite addictive. It's a harmonic minor scale starting in C harmonic minor. We're gonna finish on that C and it starts from the fifth and descends. So it goes. And we're going to include the raised seventh note of a minor scale. That was B in this case, so. I'm using alternative picking. Let's take a look at that now properly with some tab. By the way, what I'm actually doing there is playing it in the sort of cycle of fifths. So I'm starting with C minor, then G minor. Then I moved up two frets to D minor, then A minor, or you can play D minor and A minor here. I'll put these up now with some tab just to help you understand that properly. So by the way, all of this tab is available on my Patreon page, the link's in the description below. Please check it out and consider becoming a member as I'd really like to make a community around guitar playing and help people get the most out of this awesome instrument. Okay, so that's it, two exercises. One that teaches you some theory as well as getting your hands playing together. And one that is just kind of fun and quite addictive and can be played pretty fast as well. I'd appreciate it if you could like and share this video and maybe do this as well. Thanks so much guys, I'll see you again for another video. Until next time, bye. Mm -hmm.